Hi, time for another review. I bought myself a new GV 3D 603 tank bag and I chose this particular bag because it uses GV's tank lock system which means that the fuel filler cap of the bike is open when you remove this. Unlike my normal tank bag that I've got from Oxford, we, you have to unclip straps and to get to the filler cap. This thing has got a quick release mechanism which I'll show you in a second. Because this itself is the, the bag. It's got a very uh, premium feel to it. It's a very nice profiled bag as well. Also with it comes um, some paperwork, all sorts of warranties and how to fit it. It has also got a strap. Now this strap has got two hooks there. Now the idea is that you hook this to the front of the bag and these straps then go over the yoke of the, the motorcycle handlebar to make sure that when the bag does come loose off its tank lock system, which it's not supposed to, uh, at least you don't lose the bag. The other item in here is a rain cover that comes with the bag, so this will probably live inside the bag all the time for when it rains. And then this part of the tank lock system. This is the ring that I will show you shortly where it fits to the motorcycle. And each individual motorcycle has got a bracket or ring, a metal ring. And this is horseshoe shaped. And this, I'll show you now how I'm going to fit it to my motorcycle. And it goes into there. And that just fits onto the bike. And then it sits like this so that the tank lock system then fits on top of there tank lock system is that those rings you can see there that ring will now fit in there and when you want to release it you just put on this lever and those red tabs slide out of the way and you can get to your tank to your tank bag and just remove it the quality of this is quite good i find that this is it feels premium doesn't feel cheap i will show you the inside of the bag once it's installed on the bike so let's quickly run through this. This ring will fit on the motorcycle like that. And then this horseshoe will live over there. So it lines up with four screws, one over there, one over there, there and there. So I will now loosen these four screws and I'll show you the rest of the installation. Supplied with this kit, you get four spacers that is made of metal. They're nice and sturdy, I suppose. And now we're just gonna to have to fasten this little bit. So let's introduce the bag to this tank lock system. See ya. All we need to do is to line this up, make it clack, and that's it. Done. Finished. To take it off, you just release this lever, pull it off, and there's the bag. Quite simply ingenious, and now I have a very pretty looking tank bag on my motorbike. Okay, let's see what is in the bag. On the top of this bag, it has this um, piece here that covers a piece of vinyl the back there. This is enough to fit a Samsung S4 or iPhone 5. It's big enough to place it in there and they recommend that you actually cover that unless you are physically using the phone for either GPS or whatever you use the phone for. And then this part here I like because I can pop in my credit card there for toll roads. You can have a bit of change there. And on the inside of the bag we have a little mesh section over here. This mesh section currently has the, the rain coat in. And also this is the pouch that you use to put the phone in. To unzip there and here you can see size of it. It's got my wallet, it's got my little 
pocket camera and my glasses in it. I like this bag, it's a very nice neat bag for what I want to use it for. I suppose I'll be giving you a little bit of an update when I get back from a trip to see how it fared but so far I'm very happy with the bag. So that's it, my review of the GV tank bag and for all you guys out there on the bikes keep the rubber side down and thanks for watching.